In this video, I'll explain how to get the value of the selected dropdown with Angular. When working with Angular, you may find that at times you need to act upon the selection a user makes from a dropdown box. Now, technically, a dropdown box is what's called a select element. And here on this page, I've got a select element, otherwise known as dropdown box, with the five days of the work week. So when I select one of the days, the result of that selection is shown in the page. If I choose Monday, I see Monday. If I choose Tuesday, I see Tuesday, and so forth. So the main thing to keep in mind here is that whatever the user selects, we're acting upon that value. In this case, we're showing it in the page, but we may want to do something more sophisticated. Let's take a look at the code and see how this all works. So here we have the markup for the exact uh, page that we just looked at. And the select element is the drop-down box that you see. Now when the user makes a selection, they are choosing one of these option elements. And each time they choose an option element, the change event fires on the select element. When the change event fires, we're executing the select change handler method on our component and passing it the event object. We'll revisit this in just a minute. Down here, we're showing the value of the selected day property. So we just know that on our component, there's a property called selected day. And when you saw me making a change here in the dropdown box, right here, the selected day property is what's being updated here in that page. So let's look at our component. So here in the component, we have a selected day property and it's a string. So that's the property that we're updating whenever we make a change to the dropdown box. Here we have the select change handler method, and that method takes the uh, an event object as its sole argument. An event object is something that the browser provides to uh, an event handler, which allows you to drill down and act upon different parts of the event. But just know that when we get this event object, it has a target property. The target property is the element upon which the user acted. So in this case, it's the select element. And the value is the value that's produced by that or the value of that, that element. So in this case, when the user makes a change to the select element, whatever option they chose, that's the value. If they chose Monday, the value is Monday. If they chose Tuesday, the value is Tuesday and so forth. So we're setting that to this dot selected day. And this dot selected day is the selected day property. We just have to refer to it as this dot selected day because we're inside of an event handler. But the main thing to know is when this event handler executes, it takes a look at this event object, it takes a look at its target property, and then it takes a look at that target property's value property and assigns it to the selected day property of this component. And what that all translates to is that Anytime the user makes a change here, the change event fires, our, our event handler uh, is executed and it's passed the event object and whichever option they chose, the value that they chose will wind up being the target value property and that's passed it to selected day. Selected day is down here. So what happens is we see the result of the user's action here in the page. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.